Hi, this is Dirk again. In this section, I want to show you how you can add positions to the firing field and arrange them so they have the right high and location. When you start a new show, the first thing you should do is to place the position that you need on the field. By default, there are already nine positions on the field. So the best way is to delete them. To do so, first you have to unlock them. That can be done by clicking on the key symbol in the right bottom of the design screen. There is also an option to unlock them in the main menu under Positions, Options, Lock Positions in Place. Make sure that this option is not checked. When the positions are unlocked just check if all positions that you want to delete are selected. A selected position is shown in white color. Make sure that all positions are selected. Then simply press the delete key. Now you see the origin man. He has no other purpose than being a point of reference for us. He has the coordinates 0, 0, 0 and has no other purpose. Now you have different possibilities for adding a position. To add only a single position, you can choose positions, add, one position. To place it at the right location, you must again unlock it. When the front view is active, you are able to change the height and the x-axis of the position. Just click on the position and move it up or down, left or right while you are pressing the left mouse button. The distance from the origin man will be shown at the rulers. To move it on the z-axis you had to switch to the top view. This can be simply done by clicking on the camera's symbol on the right side of the main screen. Click on the position again and move it in any direction while you are pressing the left mouse button again. The rulers show you the distance from the origin man are point of reference with the coordinates 0, 0, 0. To switch the distance unit between meters and feet you can go to File, User Settings, and check Show Rulers Distance in Feet instead of Meters. If you want to change it back from Feet to Meters go again to File, User Settings, and uncheck the setting. If you know the exact location of your position, you can make a right click and then add position at this point from the context menu. If you want to add more positions in one step, you can achieve this by selecting positions, add, add multiple positions. Enter the number of positions you want to add and press the enter button. Finale now adds them to the ground and keep them selected so you are able to move them around. To help you to arrange the positions in a special shape on the ground finale offers you some functions. The first thing you have to do is to select positions. Simply click on one position to select it. If you want to select additional positions, click on the position while pressing the shift key. Or you can activate the select models and draw a rectangle around the positions so that they are selected. Then click the positions menu again. Select Arrange Positions into Pattern and then for example into a circle. Enter a value for the diameter. Here we specify it in meters so we add IM. The positions are selected so you can move them around. If you want to have another shape click Positions, Arrange Eta Patterns, and this time we choose into a line. You can also specify the line in feet by adding FT behind the value.